Okay, let's unravel this mess. That is the Google Stadia launch or Stadia. Is it Stadia? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not here to stay. Google is known to kind of launch products as fast as they close them, meaning that any apps that used from them in the last few years most likely don't exist anymore. Stadia is no different, although they have a lot of people in their camp now. Bill Harrison, who's kind of been in everybody's camp, starting with Sony, Xbox. How can you trust this guy's point? But anyways, he's over that Stadia camp trying to get them to kind of stay on course. I don't know what's the, the problem. So let's, let's at least go over the facts, right? So they just recently launched about a week ago and most of the futures aren't there. And what's worse is that been a really low quality output. So at launch, players don't have access to an achievement system, nor will it have Stadia or family sharing. Parents will be able to manage children's experience on Stadia with parental controls through Family Link, but can't share the games. And what's worse is that they promised a slew of games at launch, but had to kind of backtrack. So initially they wanted 10 games at launch, but because of the outrage, they were able to bump that to 20. Well, sure. Great job. What's also terrible is that there's a lot of people that pre-ordered their Stadia, but other people who order it afterwards got their devices before those pre-orders. This is just clearly showing that Google just doesn't know how to launch products successfully and is really, really becoming a laughing stock when they are having new technology. Like, how can you support a company that constantly just shuts down services? So with their plan of Stadia being a slow rollout, such as how they do updates for Google search, YouTube, and other services that's it right that's i mean those are the mega lists and those are huge mega lists let's not ignore them that google offers to the world but those are just one out of a million apps that actually took off and became a thing so they have a lot more misses than success and it's really not looking good for stadia there's a lot of optimism out there thinking that stadia will kind of right these wrongs and kind of get over these humps uh there are a few console launches before that didn't quite get there I'm talking previously how xbox one at a rough start where they're always connected to the internet watch uh, announcement and uh, among other things having to connect remember that thing uh, being a part of that uh, console that really upped the price and PS4 all they needed to do was just offer the console $100 less and clearly they came out the winner but Xbox kind of got themselves upright again and I mean they turned out okay being not so bad behind the console but definitely they want to fix that with their next device however besides the point Stadia is just really facing a lot of problems right now especially the quality that they promise where everything will run in 4k at 60 frames per sec people are writing about how that's not the case i mean just simple things that you feel would destroy the buzz already has happened with state not a lot of people are talking about it they have this awful trailer that you've been watching on loop right now that's trying to kind of appeal to the young hipsters forget boxes forget consoles just your games your screens and electric air and this electric air is Stadium. But even then, the commercial that kind of runs through the features of Stadia just feels like an algorithm that Google kind of just put together to say, hey, what's cool and hip to kind of showcase this new console that we're trying to It just really shows how out of touch they are and how not serious they are about the console business because this feels such a fail. Why even launch this early if it wasn't ready? Why launch a half a console to kind of ruin the bug? People are not going to give you a second chance unless you earn it, right? So why even go for second chance why knowingly go out the front door just being okay with people watching you stumble i don't understand google's stance with this and how anybody that is coming from the game business working over there at google isn't working more closely about how to properly launch a new hardware uh, this is just not looking and this again is just showing how google is eventually going to shut the doors on this it doesn't seem like anything positive that can come from this and people are already moving on and or sony and microsoft are being smart about showing like hey we already are doing this with our console yes you do have to buy the console at a price tag but you'll be able to kind of have this secondary option of streaming to your home through wi-fi connection that is reliable because you have your hardware at home that no one else is kind of digging into so if anything stadia or showed the way of interest for the public into wanting to stream their games but sony and microsoft telling stadia to step aside and like hey let's let the adults hands. and i think in the next couple of years it's just going to be a microsoft and sony show with nintendo Nintendo kind of doing their own thing. I think Google is a non-factor. If you guys disagree or agree, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I really want to understand if you guys want to get this, have this Google Stadia, or planning to get this, you know?